Hey folks, it's uh, Wednesday, October 29th, 2012, the day after Hurricane Sandy had blew through. And right now, you can see some blue skies. Um, we've been alternating between blue skies and raindrops all morning. And uh, it's very mild. It's about um, 60 degrees, I think. It's a little bit damp. But <laughs> it's very mild. Uh, so considering it's um, been a beautiful day so far, uh, I'll walk around and show you s some of the very minimal damage we suffered. Up here, I don't know if you can see it very well, there's a um, tree, it looks like a twig standing up, and you can see what broke off it there. But considering this line of trees here was, um, I mean, bent over. <laughs> like crazy yesterday with the wind and the rain uh, the tree line looks really very good and my massive tree here looks really good so you know that's good so I guess I'm gonna give you a little bit of what's not bad <laughs> that would be a good thing huh we got a lot of this little sticks <laughs> I just tripped over it <laughs> the only reason I'm filming it <laughs> Got my chickens following me around this morning. They're all good. You see, Mama, what you got? Anyway. Um, these trees here made it pretty well through. Also, I did find a few downed limbs. Widowmaker up there kept her top. That's a good thing. My peach tree doesn't look too good. Uh, I can't really see it very well. But I don't think that was really storm damage. It just doesn't look too good. You can really see it in this uh, with all the other trees on it. It's the thing with really droopy leaves still left on it. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of leaves on the grass now that weren't there. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff ripped off that was green. Look at this. Good job, baby. A lot of green leaves. Got ripped off along with the the fall leaves. Again, lots of this type of thing down. Small branches. And uh, if I head back here, I don't know yet where this came from. I haven't figured it out. Just one, probably the biggest that came down. Uh, you know what? This didn't come down in this storm. That's an old break. Well, I take that back. That's an old break, but it was probably hanging up in the trees and came down with the winds. That was some, something that's been bothering me for years. There's a lot of stuff that broke last year that got stuck up in the trees and was kind of coming down as the season, uh, well, as the last year has gone by. So, uh, yeah, all my buildings are still standing, so that's a good thing. A little bit of a mess back here. Uh, but <laughs> some of that was already here. <laughs> when you're in a hurry to kind of clean things up and secure things for a storm, not always the neatest, right? But, uh, yeah, tree line looks good barn kind of looks to me like it's a little more crooked than it was, but that doesn't surprise me. The sky is pretty wild today. Uh, my car's got leaves plastered to it. That's kind of funny. No biggie, right? This is a mess over here, unfortunately. I was gonna have a tag sale, and I had stuff covered with tarps and secured. There were things weighing it down, but now everything is soaked. So I guess it's all trash. Forget the tag sale. Anyway, these two big trees really did well. I've only seen a couple of small branches down from them. These things are twice the height of my house. But they've lived through many a storm. They're old trees. 
this one here is really beautiful. The other one is too. I don't know if the light's good enough to see. But um, someone told me once that they used to plant saplings and wind them around each other. And uh, the trees would grow together and they make this really, really pretty cool kind of looking tree, huh? Anyway, that's not relevant. We made out well. All things considered, we did good. Only lost power for five hours. So, that's my long closeout to the Sandy vlog. We do still have high wind warnings today. Um, gusts up to 40 miles per hour are possible. Um, the flood advisory was canceled. Uh, just a fl uh, high wind warning today. So there could be still some trees and limbs down, but I'm not expecting anything else serious out of this. Thank goodness it's over. I'm worn out. So are a lot of people. My prayers go out to those that have suffered much worse than we did here in Central Mass. Especially along the shorelines. New Jersey, New York. And uh, also out to those in Virginia and other states have been getting hit by snowstorms. I guess that's still going on. So uh, the superstorm just, just caught a big portion of the U.S. Millions of power. People learn to prepare. That's all I can say. And uh, and a thank you to all who sent their prayers my way. Have a good day. Just a quick add-on. I wanted to share what my barometer did last night. It's coming up now, but uh, before the storm, this was pointing, uh, this is my um, baseline, was pointing at 30, so that's where it's at it at. This is the barometer reading, and it was pinned down here at 29, and it probably would have gone lower if it had a scale to go lower. Uh, the other end of it was pinned up here, obviously, they, these two work together. So anyway, just sharing that my barometer was pinned down here at 29. Millibars? I think that's what they are. Anyway, thought I'd add that. <laughs> Interesting. Never saw that before in my life.